okay so today we can discuss on the topic dynamic programming okay so what is dynamic programming method of solving a problem that is what we are discussing today so already we studied about divide and conquer algorithms so in divide and conquer algorithms we are dividing the larger program into smaller sub problems right and the sub problems are solved and the solution sub solutions are combined to get the final solution so like divide and conquer algorithm and dynamic programming algorithm also we are dividing the larger program into smaller sub problems right first point is divide the larger problem into smaller smaller ones right and the intermediate results or the solutions of the sub problems are stored in memory for reuse for reuse okay so we cannot uh, solve all the problems using dynamic programming method so if you want to solve a problem uh, using dynamic uh, dynamic programming method it should have some properties that problem should have some properties that property is uh, these two are the properties for uh, making the problem solved by dynamic programming and the first one is overlapping sub problem first one is overlapping sub problems what is overlapping sub problems we know that in dynamic programming method we are dividing the larger problem into smaller sub problems right so suppose the solutions of the sub problems are uh, we needed again and again in the to uh, to um, reach the final solution that type of sub problem is known as overlapping sub problems did you uh, get what i said that is uh, we are dividing the larger problem into smaller sub problems and the solutions of that sub problems we needed again and again more than one time uh, to reach the solution of the uh, larger problem so such sub problems are known as overlapping sub problems so this is one of the property of dynam uh, dynamic programming uh, problems second one is known as optimal substructure optimal substructure means uh, Uh, all the problems have a common structure common structure suppose uh, for an example suppose uh, we want to solve uh, we want to find the shortest path distance from uh, two vertices uh, we can say u and v suppose we want to find the shortest path distance from u to v okay so we studied many algorithms for that so in that we may have intermediate Uh, nodes between u and v right so for getting the final solution actually we are identif identifying the uh, sub solutions suppose uh, we have two nodes x and y in between u and v right so first of all we have to identify the uh, shortest path between u and x then x and y then y and uh, v is it so uh, for getting the optimal solutions uh, all the sub problems have a common structure right that is what is optimal substructure so such problems we can solve using dynamic programming is it clear okay one of the example of uh, problem which can be solved using dynamic programming is a simple problem that is fibonacci Uh, identify the Fibonacci number. Okay, but suppose if you want to, uh, no, we can say that Fib of five. That is, if you want to uh, find the Fibonacci number, fifth Fibonacci number, we know that what uh, we have to. How we can solve this? We have to call recursively the same function for lower values. That is. Uh, to find the value fib of 5 we have to find fib of what fib of 4 and fib of 3 is it then uh, for for getting this fib of 4 again we have to go for what fib of 3 and fib of 2 right here also then fib of 2 and fib of 1 is it again here fib of 2 here fib of what 1 mm -hmm. here 
fib of 1 then fib of 0 here also fib of 1 and fib of 0 is it so this is the way we are solving this problem recursively okay so we can uh, we can see that here this problem satisfy these two properties because it has a common substructure right optimal uh, to find the optimal solution uh, it has a common structure all the sub problems have a common structure right fib of 5 we are, we are using this method we are dividing this like this for n minus 1 and n minus 2 again for this again we are dividing n minus 1 and n minus 2 like that we will get uh, we are moving into this direction and finally at the leaf nodes we can see that fib of 1 fib of 1 0 fib of 0 so the base case is fib of 1 and 0 right so fib of 1 directly we can say it is 1 fib of 0 directly we can say it is 0 okay we are building up the solutions right so uh, here we have fib of 1 here also we have fib of 1 so the solution of the sub problems we need again and again right so if we find the solution here we can use that solution here also likewise here we have fib of 3 here also we have fib of, fib of 3 so first of all actually we are computing this fib of 3 right so solution of this fib of 3 we can use were in this position right so the same solution is reused okay so that is what overlaying sub problems right so both the properties satisfied in this problem so this problem can be solved using what dynamic programming okay so we can just look into the problem uh, more fib uh, fibonacci number uh, in recursive version so so this is the recursive version of fibonacci number simple algorithm right simple program we have a function fib of int n okay so if n is less than or equal to 1 we know that directly we can return the value right if n is equal to 1 the value is 1 if n is equal to 0 0 to fibonacci is 0 itself right else if it is greater than uh, 1 uh, returns fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 right simple program and this works as uh, what I showed in this tree Sorry. okay this works recursively uh, like uh, the values showed in this tree right okay so while executing the program like this how many um, time or uh, what is the complexity of this program recursive version of Fibonacci, Fibonacci uh, program how we can identify the time complexity of this program how you have to look into uh, this tree structure right so at each time we are dividing forgetting sorry we can't say dividing we are combining so for getting this fib of 5 we have to combine or we have to add fib of 4 plus fib of 3 right we are adding these two terms to get the value of this one right okay so if this is t of n what we can write here this is t of n minus 1 and this is t of t of what t of n minus 2 right so I am writing this here the t of t of n the time complexity of this recursive version of Fibonacci um, program is equal to t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 and uh, what is the non-recursive cost only a single addition right so we can write it as 1 okay for simplicity we can write it as t of 2t of n minus 1 n minus 1 and n minus 2 are nearer values right so we are just writing it as 2 into t of n minus 1 plus 1 okay so here we can use iteration method iteration method iteration method to get the solution right 
so here we'll get it as you try uh, your own and uh, we'll get it as o of 2 raised to n okay we'll get it as o of 2 raised to n okay so we can see that this is what this is what exponential this is exponential exponential means what as the uh, n value increases the function value increases very fastly right okay this is the normal situation if we are solving this fibonacci uh, program or fibonacci problem uh, using what recursive manner we'll get a exponential uh, time complexity for solving this problem right so how we can use dynamic programming to optimize this problem how we can use dynamic programming to optimize this problem so dynamic programming is actually used to optimize recursive problems right so normal case recursive problems are taking exponential time so we can use dynamic method mainly by storing the uh, intermediate results in memory for reuse we can optimize the time complexity of what recursive pro um, problems there are actually uh, two methods for optimizing the recursive problem using dynamic tree the uh, sorry dynamic programming method <coughs> but there are two methods to store the values in memory there are two methods to store the values in memory in order to optimize the recursive problem using dynamic programming okay and the first method is called memorization memorization uh, first method is called memorization in memorization uh, we are storing the intermediate value in memory right just look into this problem uh, sorry program uh, here here we have a lookup array we are using a lookup array right so each time when we get a solution a sub solution uh, we are updating in this lookup array okay so we are entering into this loop only if the lookup array uh, value is null so initially all the values in lookup array is making it as null and if uh, a particular position is null then only we can enter into this enter into this loop right so if uh, this array value is null okay null then uh, the normal way that is if n is less than or equal to 1 the lookup value is add, uh, updated as equal to n okay else lookup of n is equal to fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 recursion itself right but in between uh, during the recursion we are updating the values in an array right Values, values in the uh, lookup array. So, how many times actually we have to call the recursion here? In the last case, each time when we are in last case, each time when we are calling a function, we have to recompute the values, right? Okay. So, suppose if we are here already, we uh, got the solution here for fib of three, but when we are in this position again we have to recompute right okay so recomputing the same solution but in memorization method we are updating or uh, what recompute computing the value only if this lookup array is not filled right okay so how many times it enters suppose if you want to find uh, fib of 5 how many times it enters how many times it uh, calculate the fib of fib, fib, uh, fib of value how many times how many times we can look here okay suppose if you are applying memorization here the same way it works but we can look suppose uh, for getting 5 fib of 5 we are dividing like this again we are here 
4, fib of 4, we have fib of 3 and fib of 2. Again, we are here first, then fib of 2 and fib of 1. Okay, so fib of 1 is already obtained, right? So, uh, in an array, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fib of 1 is already have, we have, right? So, 1. So, lookup table uh, of 1 is already filled, right? So, next we are going here. Sorry, first we are going here, right? And then only here. So, fib of 1 and fib of 0. So, here fib of 1 updated. Then fib of 0 is updated. Okay. Coming here. Again, checking the n value. Uh, in the lookup table, n is already updated. Okay. n is already updated. No need to compute. So, at this position, no need to compute the fib value. Is it clear? Uh, and again, we are coming here. What? So, getting this f1 and 0, we are computing fib of 2. Right. So, once we are computing fib of 2, so fib of 2 is updated here. Okay. Again, we are here, we got two values, so we are computing 3, 3 is updated here, is it clear? Then we are moving to fib of 2, but fib of 2 is already com already here, no need to compute, no need to compute, is it? So, no need to compute here, no need to compute here, okay, here also no need, already computed, mm. then we have 2 and 3, so we will get this one, right, this one is we are computing, okay, then we are moving here, this is already computed, fib of 3 is already here, fib of 4 is also, we, store, we are storing 4 also, right, so no need to compute this one, no need to compute this all thing, because already it is there, right, so from here, we will get what? 4 and 3 will get 5. So, 5 is computed. Okay. So, how many times if we have n, how many times we are uh, computing the fib value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it clear? So, if we have fib of n, this is 6, right? Fib of n, we will have n, n plus 1 number of computation, right? So, if you are using memorization method, if you are using memorization method to store the values, the time complexity of the recursive program is only of n plus 1, that is O of n. Okay. So, in recursive manner, we got it as what? What? 2 raised to n. Is it clear? 2 raised to n. But here it is only O of n. Second method of storing values in memory for dynamic programming is tabulation method. Okay, tabulation method. So, here actually uh, we are computing, we, suppose we want to compute fib of, mm -hmm. fib of 5. You can take an example. So, in order to uh, compute fib of 5, actually here we are computing fib of 0, fib of 1. Okay, then adding to and we have value for fib of 2 likewise right so suppose we have a memory here uh, array here 0 1 2 3 4 5 we will add up to 5 right 6 7 <coughs> so here uh, you can go through the program okay initially fib of 0 is 0 fib of 1 is 1 right in a for loop, we are computing f of i equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2, right. So, initially, i is 2, okay. So, 1 plus 2, fib of 1 plus fib of 2, that is fib of 3. So, this array is f, okay. Fib of, this is 0, this is 1, this is already given. And we are computing it by adding this 2, so we will get 1. Again, I value is incremented. So, I value is 3. So, fib of 3 means fib of 2 and 1. Okay. 
so adding this two we'll get two again adding this two we'll get three adding this two we'll get what five okay so in this way we are updating the memory this is the way we are updating the memory or table uh, for dynamic programming so we are just uh, making some um, variation in the program so we can we can reduce the time complexity so this method is called tabulation method okay this method is called tabulation method we are calling it as bottom up we are calling it as bottom up because we are uh, first we are uh, we are at the smaller solutions okay we are at the bottom then we are adding the uh, nearer values and getting the next to higher value so like that we are moving from bottom to top that is why this established method is known as bottom up method whereas uh, the first method that is memorization method is actually top down memorization method is actually top down because we are coming from the top uh, as the usual case like this tree we are coming from here okay and uh, we are um, going down at the base case and from here uh, from here we are storing values building the uh, next values uh, storing uh, again right so we are moving from top to down then computing the values that is why this method is known as what what method Me memorization is known as top down okay these two methods are used to store the values in memory uh, for dynamic programming method to solve the solve the problem right so ee rendu method aanu appo ningal idu ee video nannayittu shraddhichu kekka doubts unda choikka okay doubt clear aayi nu choik idu choikkunnunde exam ne dynamic programming important aayittu choikkunnunde pinne divide and conquer um dynamic program um adu pole greedy method greedy method aayittla difference um questions varunnunde okay അത് ഞാൻ അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പറയാം